what's up guys it's TJNX here and welcome back to my game show GameStack where I give you reviews, personal opinions and personal ratings about the game that we will be discussing and for this video we're gonna talk about Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms okay now um, Ghost Recon is a uh, free-to-play tactical MMO FPS okay it's a game like no other that I've seen okay in terms of FPS and and uh, it's developed by Ubisoft okay so um, you can see the uh, GUI is very clean and very uh, cool looking very futuristic so um, let's check out some of the stuff we have here we have here the uh, in-game currency right here and uh, next to that is of course the um, premium points or um, the stuff that you buy with your real money okay and um, we have here the um, clan view if you have any clans the uh, leaderboard they have that uh, worldwide rankings your profile and uh, class information um, store purchase okay here's the store where you can buy your gears and stuff and uh, of course your inventory and hope okay now um with this game there are three classes okay here is the assault a uh, support okay this is the support the one with the um, machine gun and here's the recon with the uh, submachine gun and equipped with a sniper rifle as well and here is the assault okay now this is a futuristic tactical MMO FPS so that's why you are seeing there some kind of drone okay um, you can choose your own drone and each drone has their own capabilities or ability okay um, also I believe this guy right here is equipped with shotgun okay so that is really cool right there uh, very customizable let's check it out with the um, store right here and let's go with the weapons of course the weapon is unlocked by uh, rank and um, yeah right or level whatever you prefer let's see right here it looks awesome okay the, the details is very legit as you guys can see okay now let's exit out of this if I can figure out how um, I don't see any exit button though okay back to store right there uh, this is the one we are currently using the MK46 let's check out for the recon okay um, nothing much right there sniper rifles okay so here we are talking about um, this one right here one of the good looking rifles out there so yeah um, now let's try and play the game um, matchmaking custom match plan match this out this uh, option opens when um when you have a clan so let's check out matchmaking okay let's click play and um, sometimes it really takes a long time to um, to connect to someone because this is global and it searches one by one uh, same same process that happens uh, when you start matchmaking in Dota 2 okay so yeah while you are looking for a match you can definitely go to your profiles and uh, change your job and stuff like that change your weapons armors uh, gears and stuff so let's see what we have in our inventory okay so uh, let's try and replace the the drone squad support let's see okay uh, load out uh, okay I don't know what I'm doing right now <laughs> but okay let's try this one prevents forward damage and knock down enemies okay pretty cool cause damage over time exposed targets oh I see oh so, so there you go uh, you see how um, you see how tactical the game can be there are a few stuff that you can do with different effects here you go film support uh, let's let's see what what that is about okay time 
time to frag. That's your grenade right there. I, I'm guessing that this one is your flashbang, stuff like that. Uh, let's check this out. So, we still don't have that here. Device C. Okay, there's different types right here too. Um, weapons or armors. Okay, we, we only have this available. So, okay, match lobby. Okay, here we go now. That took quite a bit of time. And here you get to vote what map you guys would play, okay? So, it's it's more of a um, team, team decision. So, yep. And um, after the game or in the middle of the game, maybe... Um, that is where we will um, lay out our ratings, okay? So here you go, before the match starts, you are given 25 seconds to uh, pick what you like to use, okay? So we're gonna go with a very tactical approach here. We're gonna pick the assault, okay? Because, um, yeah, rifles are really good. But sometimes I go with the uh, sniper. But the thing is... It's not the usual sniper sight that you uh, used to see on FPS, okay? Other FPS. The uh, crosshair is really different, okay? If I get the chance, I'll show you guys uh, what I mean. But yeah, we will go with this one right here, okay? So right off the bat, there you guys can see there are, there are string-like thingies, okay? So, if one of your enemies, uh, I mean, one of your allies detects an enemy, then you can see them as well, okay? And you can um, go against the pavement or the, uh, the wall, and um, you can pretty much look on the side, you know, while you are covered, and uh, wait for enemies. This is really good um, feature here. So I like this and also while you're running I know that you can slide as you guys can see there We slid across the room Okay, you press shift to run Okay, we have enemies there As you guys can see there is a uh, red box that appeared Damn we died <laughs> That guy was using the sniper rifle. So, um, I'm sorry if I'm really sucking right now. I'm not used to playing the game without the um, the sounds. But right now, I am playing without the sounds because um, the game effects would mess up with the uh, the mic here. I'm using a uh, really cheap mic that came with the computer. So. Yeah, if I if I get a budget, I would definitely buy a uh, much more better microphone. So I saw something for someone right there, um, which as you got, but as you guys can see, uh, the game effects, the graphics is really good. Um, the only thing that um, was it able to impressed me was the walls is not um, is not breakable okay so it's just like any other FPS the walls cannot be broken and here you can um, pretty much roll that is a pretty good feature there too okay so um, you guys, uh, you guys know by now that the game can be very, very tactical. Okay, you know you can uh, you can dodge, you can um, you can roll over, you can slide through the ground, you can see what your allies are seeing. So that is awesome right there. Okay, and the um, and the unlockable weapons is really vast, really um, tons of weapons. That uh, you can unlock uh, as you play the game as you progress okay and uh, 
yeah, I, I mostly do this um, thing right here, you know, where I camp and um, I just wait for uh, stupid enemies to come to me and die. So here we go, you guys can see, see this right here. So you, you really, really need to be careful um, where you walk because the chances are there's someone waiting there's someone waiting for you to uh, to get killed okay there's someone waiting for you under that um, or I mean behind that wall so you really really need to take your time here it can be a time consuming game especially if you're using the um, yeah the sniper rifle because it's hard to see the enemies and um, also it is uh yeah one of the reason is it's hard to see your enemies but also the enemies can um can hide on different different terrains or walls As you guys can see there, he he didn't really uh he didn't take his time, you know. He just ran into his death. So that's the thing that I'm talking about. Okay, so you really need to take care of yourself here. Because if you don't and you rush things, you'll pretty much die, okay? A very, very nice tactical game right here. Um, it's it's close to the real thing. I think it's only logical that um, when your enemy, I mean you, when your ally sees an enemy, uh, I think it's only logical that you can see them as well because in real life you will be radio, uh, you will have a radio and you'll radio it out to your um, allies as well. Okay, so yeah, I think they pretty much get a bonus for that. And now we are here at the enemy base and um, what we'll do is we'll pretty much wait it, wait it out and um, kill them one by one behind okay so uh, it's it's hard that it's hard to get to the enemy base you know it just happens that I got lucky at this round and um, we got passed through the the enemy lines I guess it's because that I I camped on the specific site or specific location as you guys have seen a few minutes ago uh, I pretty much think that they got discouraged to go to that part of the map and um, just went on the other side so we pretty much got this line cleared and also um, one of the features of the game that um, I sometimes hate and I sometimes love is that the drones that you guys have seen a few minutes ago on the lobby uh, it can pretty much disable you or blind you okay um, especially in close quarters um, if you're head-to-head -head with an enemy at really close range like for example me in this side of the wall and the other guy is on the other side then you guys can pretty much um, kill each other using the drone you know there is this microwave kind of thing where it disables your gun and um, also the flashbang thingy that I uh, told you guys about okay and um, also one of the game that I, one of the features of the game that I like and sometimes hate is the um, invisibility uh, skill okay so you can turn invisible but it really depends if you shoot your enemy or if you fire um, if you fire around then um, you'll pretty much blow your own cover and um, you will be seen as a um, faded um, human like image okay okay so this guy just doesn't notice us so he's dead again as I said 
with this game you really really need to be very very careful you know it's a very tactical game um, like no other so there you go three of them right there takes me down um I think it's only about time that they kill me because I don't know I killed four already with one life <laughs> and um, yeah so as you guys can see right there I'll show you guys again the features um, you need to run before you can glide or slide and there we go um, one of our ally can see that there's someone there what the fuck okay that was bad that was my bad <laughs> I was zoomed in so yep I haven't played FPS or any FPS for quite some time now because um, as you guys have known or as you guys know that I was playing browser games most of the time you know the bleach online the anime pirates and this other game that I'll soon show you guys uh, what else uh, yeah but I mean mostly browser games so you know you lost the f the feel of FPS if you uh, don't play for a long time or an extended period of time okay so we just need to see where that guy is okay there he is oh this guy did homie what the fuck okay so you guys have seen he has shields right so that's one of the benefits of having the drone okay um, you can take more amounts of damage and stuff like that okay and also the disable thingy that I told you guys and the flashbang thingy so I'm calling it thingy because I really don't know what the names are I forgot um, but yeah really awesome features right here makes the gameplay legit as fuck um, really really realistic right now um, especially with with the uh, with the sounds if the sounds were enabled um, pretty much yeah it added a really really more um, satisfying um, feel of reality so that dude is dude nigga, I can see you bitch Okay, so we died right there. There was two of them there. Oh, did you guys see that? Someone just straight popped up in front of us. So, damn. Yeah. Um, as I told you guys, if your allies can see it, then um, you can see it. But what happened there was no one has seen him. And of course, we won't see him, okay? Um... That dude pretty much got a, a really good cover right there. We should be very, very, very careful. And um, yeah, be, re be really tactical about this thing right here, okay? He was hiding right there. Okay, damn. Oh, And another good benefits of um, the thing that I told you guys, the um, the thing where if your allies see your enemy and um, then you can see them as well, is that you'll know when to attack and when not to attack, okay? So basically, I, I'm not doing a, a very um, team-oriented approach in this, simply because I can, um, I can play that well. Because you know I'm, my mind is on a different phase right now. Uh, I'm showing you guys the stuff, okay? So, yeah, I think it's about time that we um, give the game the. Uh... Oh, here another another um, feature of the game is that one game composes of three mini games. I mean, three matches, okay? So you need to win two matches in order to win the game or the round okay 
Um, it's like, yeah, the best of three. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, so I think it's time that we rate the game once and for all, okay? So, here it goes. Now, you guys seen the features and the graphics, okay? Now, usually, what I do is I rate the game um, separately for um, or in terms of graphics and the features. But for this one, um, we're gonna put together the... Um, features and um, gameplay okay because the um, the level of tactical um, tactical gaming is just really incredible okay okay so um yeah we're gonna rate it with um, like that gameplay and features okay now if you guys have seen the run and glide or slide the um, the cover okay the cover right here and also the um, the crouch and roll okay so those are really good features right there and uh, not to mention that um, you can you can see the enemies that your allies are seeing okay so that is um, radio radioing in or radioing out to your teammates okay it's auto radio and uh, make sure, make sure allies or teammates more aware of the environment and a sense of realism, okay, in the game. So that is really, really good. So I'll give the features and gameplay with a rating of 4.5, okay, 4.5. Now, um, let's see the the graphics. You guys know the graphics, right? The graphics is really really good um, if you guys still don't see uh, let's see if I maxed out all of my uh, options right here so uh, video um, yeah I think it's it's pretty much set to high okay so the game graphics I'm not seeing any um, pixelation or stuff like that and um, yeah the grenades effect and the other stuff is really really good so I have no reason to give it a low score so I'll give it a 4 okay the hell yeah I'll give it a 4 so for gameplay and features that's 4.5 and for graphics that will be 4 so overall what would I give it okay so I'll dissect it a little bit right here for the overall ratings okay the added feature of the drones okay added feature of the drones the uh, vastness of um, weapon selection okay and the fact that it's free to play okay it's a freemium game it doesn't solely rely on uh, you buying online currency or uh, in-game how do you call that uh, gold or uh, premium gold stuff like that but um, What you, what you can do is pretty much buy everything with the in-game currency okay they won't be that strong compared to the paid the paid weapon but still um, the game provides you with what you need okay so that's what we're looking for in games so um, also for the general view or uh, the general rating overall I'll give it a uh, 4.5 okay I mean they they could have done better with the walls and also um, you can um, you can destroy you know um, little walls like that especially with machine guns should be able to destroy terrain and um, well yeah of course um, walk like uh, like what you you know you crouch and then you walk like in counter-strike so that is a a bonus right there okay so the, the guy was standing there so yeah overall ratings will be 4.5 okay so quick recap of the ratings graphics 4 uh, features and gameplay 4.5 and um, overall ratings is 4.5 
so overall the game is really really great if you are a fan of a futuristic um tactical okay futuristic very tactical game this is the game for you and uh once again the game name is um tom clancy's ghost recon phantoms okay now you can play this in steam all right if you have a steam account you are you are good to go with this game all right so the game is really really cool um it's like no other that i've seen in fps genre so yeah i'll give it a um four thumbs up including the ones on my toes so that is very good okay so yeah i think that about handles the um the ratings and uh the video in general so um Thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video go ahead and press the like button if you guys dislike it go ahead and press the thumbs down button okay for comments and suggestions positive or negative it's all very welcome and very much appreciated if you guys want me to check out a game tell me about it okay be sure to tell me about it if you want me to check out the game leave it in the comments section below again this is Stygian X and I'll see you guys on the next on the next GameStack video. Alright? Peace.